silly mommy for life silly mommy for life let's get silly hey my sillies hey my sillies so i'm opening this vlog out because this is a mini vlog this is the beginning of my pregnancy journey with baby number five due at the end of september september the 26th i wanted to say september 29th because <laughs> 29th is my son that's gonna be three years old birthday and my due date is the 26th so i'm doing this quick um opener because close my door all right so i just had sorry guys that was my niece and my daughters um they're going outside my husband is actually barbecuing and stuff so um barbecuing outside and everything and i wanted to do this vlog before everybody came but people is at my house but i wanted to open up this vlog like i said this is the beginning of my pregnancy vlogs um i didn't really do a lot of pregnancy updates or anything it's just because by the time that i have my first appointment by the time i found out i was pregnant i was actually 16 weeks and i thought i was eight weeks so yeah and it's just been a lot been going on not negative stuff but just positive stuff really busy y'all know what's going on with the world with <clears throat> the viruses and and all that stuff so just been getting my life together getting ready for baby because baby will be here guys yes i'm 35 weeks so baby will be here so baby will be here so like i said so today i actually made 35 weeks so i wanted to open this vlog out when you guys saw the pregnancy test i didn't really film i filmed like afterwards because i didn't think that i was going to be pregnant because we Look, y'all, I just took a pregnancy test like two or three days ago, and it was out negative. I think I did it too early, and I was cleaning up my bathroom, and I kept on seeing the other pregnancy test because it came in a two-packer, clear blue. And I was like, let me just go ahead and take it so I can just throw it away. When I took it, it was positive, and I was like in total shock. And only reason why I was in total shock is because... I don't know if you guys know, but I did get diagnosed with um, endometriosis in October. I think it was in like in November. And my doctor, my OBG went, my OBGYN said that it was going to probably be difficult if I wanted to get pregnant again, but it's not off the charts that I'm able to get pregnant, but it's probably going to take a little bit more time than it did before in the past. And she was just giving me a heads up. Now, when I went to my appointment, she was like, I never told you you couldn't get pregnant. I said it might take some time. I didn't say it would take some time. I said it might take some time. So she just thought I was funny. And when I went into the pregnancy um, appointment, my first doctor appointment, she was like, girl, you got a whole baby inside you. <laughs> you 16 weeks. You ain't no seven to eight weeks. You got a whole baby in you. You got a whole baby. You really didn't know when was your last cycle. And I didn't. Because uh, for me, my experience with endometriosis, my cycles is like all, just all over, okay? So, I mean, and then in uh, October and November, I did have some weird things going to me that I had to go to the uh, hospital. And I was there for like, I was there for a while. I'm glad I didn't have to stay. And that's when I did get diagnosed with endometriosis. And I was kind of... I was kind of um, not shocked because the the symptoms that I did have, and yes, I did play Dr. Google like my husband did. I did play Dr. Google, and then I'm on like on these mommy groups, like these mommy groups that had rainbow babies and miscarriages and stuff. They said that I probably will be experiencing that. Prop that's what it sounded like to them that that I could have endometriosis, but they always say that go ahead and go check your doctors and. I went to the ER and they did diagnose me with that and then I had a follow-up with my doctor and she did diagnose me with that she gave me some medicine for my endometriosis and then in January I got pregnant February I found out in March we went to Disney I did that little cute little pregnancy announcement and now we're here at 35 weeks about to have this baby okay y'all so things went out super fast and i just want you guys to enjoy the rest of the vlogs up to coming because i'm finally making it to 2020 and i'm so happy that we're finally catching up so 
Thank you guys and enjoy the rest of the vlog. Baby John, and I don't know if you guys can see Layla. So, family night. The hubby is upstairs taking a shower because they've been gone all day. Don't want to get copyrighted. Pregnancy number seven, and baby number five. If God let it be. Very strong lines. Like, I took a pregnancy test a few days ago, maybe about four or five days ago, and it says not pregnant. I think it was too early, but I knew the signs. It's about that time we watched Coco together. He always get in the bed with me, y'all, no matter what. His nap times are usually my nap times. <laughs> this is actually my first video of Insta. <laughs> Coco time. Coco. All right, my silly. So I hope y'all enjoy those mini clips of what we've been up to in the little months and stuff. So after this is going to be the Disney trip. We're going to go straight to the Disney trip. Um, I originally wanted to do a pack with me and all that other stuff. That didn't happen. <laughs> okay, that just didn't happen. Okay, it was just a lot going on. Uh, packing for my big major trip with a family of six was a lot y'all okay it was a lot packing for disney was was a lot planning for disney was a lot and my travel agent told me girl you need to plan this trip early i planned it but you know what i'm saying I, who would have known that the disney trip has to be planned like to the t when it comes to fast passes and everything and i will talk about that on the other vlogs to come but I just want to say thank you guys for watching. And I wanted to give y'all a synopsis and what's going on with my life and what's going on right now. And why would it jump from 2019 to boom, 2020. So I wanted to give you guys the reason why and closing this vlog out now. <laughs> Baby boy. I'm resting. Like I said in the beginning of the vlogs, uh, hubby is outside with the kids and my in-laws. They're having fun. I can't enjoy the fun right now because I'm resting. I need to take an hour break because I have been doing other things around the house. Like I said, getting baby ready and decluttering. And so my feet are throbbing right now and my butt ain't getting up until my feet stop throbbing. <laughs> this is what happened when you're a small frame woman carrying a going to be a the doctor predicted a nine pound baby or an eight pound baby so right now the baby is four pounds <sighs> yes four pounds but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get off of here thank y'all for watching don't forget the thumbs up guys you got the thumbs up this video to let me know at first i had the thumbs up conceal because of a hater every time i drop a video i the video wouldn't even be five seconds and i get a thumbs down like who does that a hater but you know what y'all keep thumbs down my video because i'm still getting um interaction you know and to let youtube count out as a good thing but anyway thumbs up the video don't forget to stay silly because when you stay silly the whole world around you get a little bit silly as well and then also follow me on instagram i am trying to post up daily that's when you guys will get the like really the updates of what's going on with me and the family i post up at any time whenever i feel like it uh, i'm trying to get better posting like y'all addicts does with this insta thing but you know it be it be going over my mind but anyway i'm going because my husband just came in the house and he's like a streaming loud so thank you for watching don't forget to stay silly because when you stay silly the whole world around gets you a little bit of silly but what goodbye let's get silly